in the rapidly involving landscape of blockchain technology a project that has recently captured the limelight is world coin the project steered by open ai ceo sam altman purports to address two pressing concerns of digital age income inequality inequality and online identity validation however it has concurrently sparked a heated discussion on its legitimacy with skeptics questioning whether WorldCoin is indeed a trailblazing innovation or a carefully disguised Ponzi scheme. Joining me now live virtually from Wari Delta State to give us more insight into this new innovation is a blockchain analyst and a certified metaverse expert, Dominic Rume Urire. Many thanks for joining us on the show this morning. Thank you very much for having me. All right, Dominic, let's get straight into our um, conversation. Can you give us more insight into what WorldCoin is all about and the solution it proposes? <laughs> okay, so the goal of WorldCoin is actually simple. You know, it is a global financial and identity network that's based on a proof of personhood. So we're able to differentiate the work we that humans have done and the ones that AI is currently doing. When you look at it, with the rise of AI at the moment, and you see the things like ChatGPT, Brad, then Copilot for coding in this era where you don't even need um, developers anymore, you can just do your coding using artificial intelligence. It becomes extremely important for somebody to be able to differentiate what has been done by humans and what has been done by artificial intelligence or machines you know recently there was even an uprise on the internet when some of the favorite and biggest musicians like drake arena grande they had some of their music produced using artificial intelligence software so because of these different developments sam Osman, which is the ceo of um, open ai actually brought up this particular concept to see that okay just like us blockchain is you know one of the properties of the blockchain is the fact that it is immutable and the fact that it is extremely transparent so he brought up this particular concept that enables a lot of users to actually scan their eye ops like scan their iris to be able to see that they use that as a proof of verification before they assess digital financial services and once they're able to actually assess that digital financial service they have been able to confirm first that they are human so once they have been able to confirm first that they are human you will now see that they have removed the doubt from the minds of um, users and consumers that okay this particular project we're interacting with was not done by a human was done by a machine so in the era where um digital identity and artificial intelligence All right, we're still trying to reconnect with um, Dominic, the network, trying to play fast one and us. Dominic is giving us some insight into what WorldCoin is all about, its solutions, and also alighting its impact and value to the financial services um, industry. We understand that blockchain is already taking over the financial services as most trading activities are now done online. Cryptocurrency platforms are also coming up on a daily basis trying to provide solutions to some of these challenges. Dominic, are you there now? All right, so we're trying to reconnect with um, Dominic to continue with his um, submission on some of the shortfalls that has to do with WorldCoin. WorldCoin since its uh, you announcement. Now? Okay, Dominic, you can go ahead. I can hear you now. Okay, I said so. That would be. Go ahead, go ahead. I can hear you. I said so. In an era where artificial intelligence is on the rise, digital identity and verification of digital identity has become a no brainer. And with a project like this, you see that it has actually been able to bridge the gap in the sense that humans can now actually differentiate what was actually brought in by artificial intelligence and what humans are actually doing at the moment and it is a step in the right direction for blockchain projects as well all right dominic let me ask you i mean if question. you don't have anything to hide okay okay go ahead go ahead <laughs>
then do you are you running away from it <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me quickly ask you this question. Um, while I was carrying out my research concerning this particular topic, I found out that in Kenya, the um, world coin is largely accepted. But there seem to be some um, regulatory issues in Europe concerning world coin, as this platform is also um, being lashed on, gathering a lot of criticism. What is the acceptance rate like in Nigeria? Because I know that blockchain and cryptocurrency in Nigeria is the adoption of cryptocurrency in Nigeria is on the increase. So, what's the exception um, acceptance like for of what um, what coin in Nigeria? So, talking about the two countries you made mention of earlier, um, Germany has actually issued a warning to the world coin, saying that they want to actually roll back some of their operations, and they have started investigating into some of their operations at the moment. This uh -huh. morning, I was reading the news that Kenya actually is debunking the usage of world coin in their own environment. You see, okay. because of the privacy issues that it causes, or the privacy, the privacy concern around this particular project, a lot of anger and a lot of um, debate has been going on everywhere. So these different countries have actually come out to say they are trying to put a stop to what world coin is doing in their communities for nigeria nigeria is actually one of the biggest black nations in the world and you notice that on the third of may 2023 the nigerian government actually released its national blockchain policy that aims to promote a better digital economy for nigerians and better data sharing now you see that because of this policy that have been implemented nigerians have actually been more open to accepting digital currencies blockchain projects and nigerians have actually been able to navigate this market for a long time for nigerians most times we look at the utility and the profit we can actually make from it if there you know there was a better phase test for world coin and i'm very positive that a lot of nigerians were involved in some of those beta phase testing and when these these tokens were released to them they have made some money from it as well so nigerians have adopted the usage of world coin because i know that in some cryptocurrency communities that i've seen we've seen people say long world coin world coin is going to go up to maybe about it's currently at 2.4 dollars at the moment it's going to go up to maybe about 10 dollars so nigerians are trading the volatility of the world coin to be able to profit from it and currently that's actually the position that nigerians are standing on it to be able to make profit from it and maybe maximize the usage in terms of maybe their own privacy concerns maybe they want to be able to differentiate between work of humans and work of artificial intelligence so nigeria is taking a lead in that forefront of adoption all right good one now can you tell us amid the allegations attached to this um, development as world coin now can you run us through the implication of this platform um, to take technology and the wider blockchain industry so it means that going forward we will start seeing much more projects like this that aims to verify human identity okay. and aims to actually reduce fraud right. because when this human identity is verified you would have a bit of skepticism doing something that is illegal on that particular platform knowing fully well that you can actually be traced to a to anywhere in the world because your identity is there so we will see a lot of more projects like this one rising up and it is good for us to actually be very careful not to invest in the ones that may be scams we should actually look for the ones that have credible backing credible team structure before we start looking at investing into those type of projects however for the blockchain ecosystem as a whole it is a it is quite um, interesting because you know blockchain pushes for privacy, pushes for decentralization, also pushes for you to be able to have um, security of your data. And you, you scanning your iris is not a small data to just give out. Mm. I mean, your iPhones get opened with your iris, so then if someone can be somewhere <laughs> and just maybe do one or two um, coding, and then maybe getting access to your to your phones and all that. 